thing I've gotten in the habit of doing is moving the arm out of the way so I can... <laughs> it's making my shirt unbuttoned when I do massage. Seven and Chiatsu. So, arm here. But uh, ask the person to turn their head towards the side uh, that you're working on because we're going to be compressing across the body and this keeps this space open. Also, this arm is nice to have turned in this position for the simple fact that we're going to be compressing here. And in this position, the front of the shoulder girdle has nice articulation with the mat. If it's in another position, there's usually some space. And if you press down with people with existing tightness, it could cause some uh, irritation. We don't want that. So we're going to feel for the spine. And then we're going to come immediately lateral of it. So we're reaching across the side that we're on. And we're going to use the heel of our hand. And my fingers are extended over the back of his scapula onto the infraspinatus. And this hand stays stationary. It's called mother hand. And then this other hand comes right below it. And we're going to have the person inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to lean forward. You'll note a couple of things. That I'm compressing with my body weights. My arms are extended. And I'm also rocking up on my knees so that I can use my body weight more efficiently. So I lean in and compress on the exhale. And lean back on the inhale. So when you rock back, inhaling, cultivating chi, and on the exhale, leaning forward, expelling chi. So this is yin. This is yang. Nice, nice, nice. And we're going to do a little uh, cross fiber. So we have all these muscles that run parallel to the spine. Uh, the paraspinal muscles, the erectors. And the bladder meridian runs all on either side of the spine in two parallel lines. So after some general compression, it's a good idea to come just again lateral of the spine on the opposite side in the laminar groove and apply some nice cross fiber friction because this opens the area up quite nicely for it to receive shiatsu. So either with braced uh, pads of your fingers, works pretty well, or else if you have some gnarly, flat, old shiatsu thumbs, you can use those too. specific to open up the muscular uh, pathways for the um, for the bladder right in. So I just depressed her a little bit to open up the uh, lower back. Mm. <laughs> you okay, <Ron>? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> good pain. Step across like this, and I'm going to take this arm and put it on one foot, and then I'm going to uh, start to mobilize the shoulder girdle. Um, so, a good idea before you start mobilizing the shoulder girdle is to uh, pay attention to the muscles that attach to the shoulder girdle on all sides. So, we have upper trapezius levator, trapezius rhomboids, uh, serratus anterior, deltoids, teres infraspinatus, supraspinatus. So just doing some nice, again, circular fingertip friction to open up the area above the shoulder. I'm going to do some compressions right on the back of the scapula, addressing infraspinatus. Take it in and compress posterior deltoid. Mm, off the inferior angle, just compress to get the common tendon of serratus anterior. And then we'll come in for some mobilization. So 
I'm going to use my outside arm. So my, at, this, at this point, my body is open to the shoulder girdle. It's right in front. So you want to, again, keep the work in front of you. And I'm going to reach in, and I'm going to create a shelf with my fingers, cupping uh, the head of the humerus. And with a straight arm to mobilize, I'm just going to rock back. So you get nice mobilization of the scapula. Leaning forward, inhaling, leaning back, exhaling. And to help free up uh, the scapula, particularly at the, um, the, the trapezius and rhomboid attachments along the uh, spinal border of the scapula, we're going to do the mobilization, but also add fingertip pressure right up against the uh, scapula. So, putting in and just mobilizing the scapula to my fingertips. And take it down to the inferior angle. from just below the superior, uh, inferior angle of the scapula to down on, including the uh, sacrum. So here's a, the spine, and I'm coming just lateral of that using the heel of my hand. And I'm going to ask Mr. Rudy to inhale. And then on the exhale, as I mobilize this way, I compress that way. So it's twisting compression. And then you work your way down, sort of like what you're doing. That's <laughs> Just doing the other end. So again, not a muscle thing, just shifting your weight through an extended arm. Take it down to the sacrum. Straighten the arm and come across. And sit in seiza. And again, we're going to feel for the spinous process of the vertebra. And we're, again, we're going to come just lateral of the spine, and we're going to apply the tip of our elbow right in the lamina groove. Starting at the highest portion you can, we're going to work all the way down and include the sacrum. So tip the elbow, sink in. So I'm right in the lamina groove, and I'm also directing a slight pressure towards uh, the spine. And you also notice, like I'm just leaning in, that's where the pressure comes from. Okay. And if you want to make it more specific, you simply increase this angle. So that is real dynamic. You don't have to push harder. You lean in, <coughs> and then if you want to make it more specific, just a simple uh, increase of this angle, it makes the articulating surface more refined so it's more penetrating. Yeah, it is. So you're working down. It's lovely back opener. Plus it cultivates patience and that heightens your palpation skills. You do techniques like this because you have to be really attuned to what you're feeling with the elbow. You have to pay attention to their breath and the give of their muscle and um, the contact and things. It's very uh, proprioceptively, it's a very good opportunity uh, to cultivate a good sense of dope patient. Um, just using the spine as a guide. Nice thorough loosening of this side shoulder. Then you would then ask the person to turn their head towards you. And then you would repeat on the other side, same same. Okay. 
So uh, let's get together and I'll talk you through that much.